Puzzle Agent. I don't know anything about this game, but let's let's play it. Oh. Play. <laughs> Looks just like me. Mm. Washington DC. Puzzle investigation. <laughs> An upwards pencil sharpener. I haven't seen that one. Crossword. <laughs> so cinematic. Such intensity. <laughs> My god, that was a gigantic bubble for I know shit's given bubble. I really have no idea where this is going to be going. Like I'm asleep. I think that's me. Oh. People are playing games. Okay. Uh-oh. What the what? <laughs> Slowly turn it. Is he filling out my crossword? You don't fill out another man's crossword puzzle. Unless. Why is he even my foot? Oh, okay, I thought that was a mustache. Okay, that was totally my mistake. What, what? Oh, you ruined it. It's been ripped to bits. But is there something written on it? Reconstruct to find out. Solve it! Oh boy. Okay. Alright. Now we all get to see my epic puzzle solving skills. Stain. Uh, this looks like a corner. Oh, they go together when you click them together. Okay, uh, you go up here, you go right here, okay, uh, let's see, this one goes over here, this goes here, this goes here, this goes there, and Scoogins. Gogans. <laughs> Tax paid out of set. Yay! Cracked crossword. Hints use none. No wrong answers. I am the puzzle master. Top. Whether or not I know what that means. Oh, oh. Spider. Puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. <gasps> In the field? What? In the outside no, world? Sir, it's, it's just, it's been, yes, quite some time. Oh, boy. Uh huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> sir. I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. Oh, boy. I'll be on the next plane to. Wait, where? Scoogins. You didn't even stay in the boxes. Scoggins? Scoogins. I'm not sure. <laughs> Man spends his whole life inside of that room solving puzzles. Now he's adventuring. Nelson Tethers, puzzle agent. I really like the art style of this actually. It's kind of like a old cartoony look to it. But it's different enough. It has a lot of uh, personality to it. It's like doodles. <laughs> Can I play as that guy? Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. <laughs> Population, 
754. Temperature? Hmm. It's cold and not much to look at. <laughs> According to the agency, there's some kind of situ in thing going on at the <laughs> local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. My god. There's a weird man staring at me. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tethers out. Oh, I gotta make sure to do that. <laughs> oh, I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. I hope it's a puzzle. I'll have to ask him. Talk to creepy guy. Boop. Excuse me. I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. <laughs> Hello? Yo. Yes. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, <laughs> those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? <laughs> yes. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Nelson Snowmobile sliding along the road to arrange the logs to help Nelson's bump, Nelson bump his way to the hotel. Should pass the traffic lights Bjorn mentioned along the way. He just said traffic lights. Oh. Okay. 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 And any free space, it will start outside his house and hits a log, it'll bank right or left bank on it. He must hit every stoplight on his way to the hotel. Why? <laughs> oh, okay. I assume. Can I go through trees? We'll see. Uh. Duh. 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 Oh. What? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh. Heh heh heh. Duh. Yeah, if it goes out there, if it goes down. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Wait. No. No. Yeah, why do I have to hit that log? I don't. I think I'm going to mystery. Okay. What? Uh, sub submit? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Sure. Go. Drive you crazy fool. Oh, he doesn't even move. Well, I suppose. Why do I have to hit the stoplights? Does the house have a mustache? How much dollars? 75 thousand dollars I get paid good I wonder if I sell puzzles all day no hints no wrong answers best puzzler ever <laughs> I like this old guy I don't know where he's from though cuz <laughs> Is this the hotel? Um, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh, <laughs> I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Bjorn, you asshole! Suspicious people. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel? Okay, lately? well, that's. Yeah. Really? Can you describe them? <laughs> Skinny asks lots of questions. There's a stupid hat. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Scoggins. Do you know anything about it? No. This man is. So helpful. Hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Just walks away. 
Inspect the fence. I will. Those bite marks? Discovered a fence. Cords all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm recording this. <laughs> Go inside the hotel. Okay. I haven't tried clicking anything else. I just listened to it. I should try clicking something else. Is she wearing glasses? Or those are eyes? What the? The crackhead? Oh, at least the game saved. I want to go talk to Excuse this guy. Excuse me, you look perplexed. <laughs> puzzles. So many puzzles. Oh, puzzles? I love puzzles. I might be able to help you with that. Bo has swallowed a rubber band again. His x-ray shows only tapeworms. Or does it? Rotate the segments of pesky parasites. Oh! So normal. Okay. Um... What? <laughs> oh, this is... Strange. <laughs> I'm not... Oh, okay. Um... Do they all just have to have tails, I guess? This is a little bit harder than the other one. <laughs> what? No, what? Not that. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. We got that. This is... It's okay. We can handle this. Is just a puzzle. Okay, there. Okay, we have one. Where's this one's face? Still does not have a face. That's not right. <laughs> okay, there's only... These aren't rubber bands. <laughs> These are definitely... Why does this man... Is he crawling with tapeworms? That's a problem. Not something I should be trying to solve a puzzle solve. Solve and a puzzle. You should see a doctor. This is terrible. Ah. Uh, okay. 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 You're. You're. Okay. What is that? Well, that doesn't make sense. That's a really long tapeworm. The picture makes sense. That way. And that way. And that way. What the heck. Uh, okay, let's say that's a really long one. Go. <laughs> I do not know if I got that. I... DANG IT! See it. The rubber band will form a continuous loop. Oh, well... You could have told me that. Well, then I bet it's this... This... This one. Right there. No, but that's a two-headed tape form. No. I'll know it when I see it. I am. There's no such thing as a two-headed tapeworm. Although, should I really be believing the laws of nature? <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so that then this. Huh. I feel like that one goes there. What is with you and your two heads? Why can't you just be a normal worm? Okay, your thing, your thing. There's no circle. You're weird. That's weird. That's still weird. Still weird. Why are you just flying off the side? Control yourself. I feel like I could just be so wrong right now that it would be like. Ridiculous. Okay, I feel like it's right here because the rubber bands don't make that. 
that would work. That. Boom. Holy crap. <laughs> Boom. Yeah! Tapeworm twister. No hints. Maybe a wrong answer. Still the best. Puzzler. Now maybe you can relax a little. Heard the uh, whispers. It's an acrostical enigma. It's a Baltimore trans deletion. What? <laughs> whispers? Or not. Or you could just do less heroin. You know, that's... Hello. That's well, a... hello there, mister. Oh, Welcome hello. In. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh, yeah. You're here about the Eraser Factory. <laughs> what a... What an You're accent. You're excited to have a real FBI man in our town. Oh. It's just like TV, yeah? <laughs> I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. A uh, hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. Some hot dish. Why would I go without my room key? Why do you give me that option? So, oh. uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay. I've got your room right here. Unless there's no key. Oh, dear. This is so embarrassing. Uh -oh. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. <laughs> Mind if I have a look? What a jerk! Figure out what room I'm in. Security-minded night clerk rotated, notated Nelson's room number in cryptic form. Help Martha see what's written so you can... What a dick. Did you say nine? Nine. Okay. Okay, let's look at... The, okay. So... We see that it says nine right here with the negative positives, but the negative space, it's line, 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 bar, double barred line. <laughs> Obviously, that makes, what? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to break my 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 hint. I'm doing so good. What is it? Also, what is this button that just says what? Like, <laughs> guess room nine. Okay, nine. How many numbers can fit? Two numbers. Okay. Okay. So nine. Okay. Okay. We can we can get this. We'll get this without. A hint, maybe, maybe not, maybe. Is it upside down, sideways, something, anything? E, it, 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 uh, uh, nine and a four? Is it because it's four letters and nine? Okay, we'll use hint. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, there. Now I can only pick a certain. What, what if I click what? Oh, that's <laughs> cryptic form. It's not really <laughs> Oh. Yes, room key confusion. That is very accurate. Nelson. Nine. Nine. Okay, we need to use a hint. Because I, I have no idea. Numerals are great, but there are other common ways of writing down numbers. Numerals. <laughs> Lines. Numbers are great, but there's other ways to write down numbers. Really? I wasn't aware of this. Mm. I have no idea what what. This is, oh. I have no idea. What is it? Nine, 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 no, not eight. Nine, 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 four. Four letters. 
four bars, six dashes, or not six, eight dashes, eight lines, and four. He didn't even write it next to the word boom. That's just inconsiderate. Oh uh, no. Common ways of writing down numbers. You say common like like I should know. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, numerals are good, but there's other common ways of writing down numbers. Nine, nine, four, nine. Do I get downgraded? Mm -hmm. Get another hint, because I don't I don't know. It's probably simple. Everybody watching is probably like, duh. If the marks themselves don't mean anything to you, try looking at I did look at. So, are you suggesting that I saw the hard one first and that the other one is easy? <laughs> oh no. I am looking between. What if, what if I didn't look between the lines? What does it say then? It didn't say anything. It's one 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 stupid number. With stalagmites and stalactites in between them. What is this? It's just, just nine? Nine! That is my final answer. Did I just think that through too much? What? What? That is, why did they put two spaces if there's only one answer? Oh, I'm saying the number. Go, Mrs. Garrett. Well, yeah, That's not even hard. Okay. That just means Mrs. Garrett's dumb. It literally just says nine right there. Thanks. Actually, while I have <laughs> what the hell? do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Oh, uh, as long as there's not nine yeah, questions because you probably get confused. I'm, I, I'm, I'll ask about the racers. Anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic <laughs> about so the tragic. accident, oh, huh? Accident. accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isn't this creepy Isaac Dabner, in the background? they say he was killed in there. Oh, Is that boy. So? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little <laughs> creatures that live in the woods around yeah, the factory. Yeah, yeah. Familiar with the the Maybe first you creature. Talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. Bog. You should be able to Sheriff catch him Bog. out by the factory right now. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Do I want? How do oh. I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory oh, is. Oh no. Oh dear, our moose is cooked. <laughs> Rest assured, ma'am. The FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian. Knowledge of. <laughs> I like to double check things. Oh, there you go. Of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. Oh, perfect. Somebody write nine on it? Probably. You know, our Scoggins <laughs> erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. I did know that. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. <laughs> oh yeah, well that'll happen. Oh okay. Should I ask about cracked out Kenny? Uh, I guess so. The guy in the lobby is he okay? Oh, that's Bull Murphy. He's Bull. always been a bit of an odd one. A little yeah, bit there. He sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. <laughs> Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Okay, good goodbye. Thanks. Well, goodbye. And I want to know who voice time. acts oh, these Minnesota people. Me. Do you have any gum for sale, or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite <gasps> some time. What? My I haven't seen a stick God. in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? No. Yep, yep, yep. Gum helps me concentrate. 
What? Oh, that? Oh, no. That's pretty gross. Oh, there's one right back there. Grab it. <laughs> oh, God. There's one. Is there more? I bet there is. Can I just click wherever I want? Oh, 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 what did I do? Oh, boy. Come! Screwdriver! Someone left a... Looks clean. Oops. Probably, Probably no consequence. Can I take it? I don't want to click it again because I don't want him to talk. <laughs> okay, okay. Was it there just more gum? You said there's no gum. Why is there gum appearing? God. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. <laughs> Wonder who that was. Plus, it you. looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map Bjorn. from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to Bjorn, the Bjorn. factory. I don't remember what he's called. Tether is out. I think one's the same here. Am I supposed to be saying that? <laughs> Get on snowmobile. Go. Factory. Skargins. I'm pretty pumped. What the? Hmm. Interesting. Out at the eraser factory. The doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of yeah. custom-built contraption has got this place locked up tighter than Fort Knox. Fort? The device seems damaged, though. There's it a cog missing. missing a piece. Better talk Hi, to the sheriff, Bob. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. <laughs> yes, we do. We do? Oh yeah. It's gonna be a while before we can get this factory running again. But what? my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident, then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. I sound a little... Uh... Uh... Investigation. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. <laughs> well, that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. Oh. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? <laughs> that's right, sir. Kind of creepy. Incident. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. Okay. When did the incident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know. Press easy guard service on play to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. From their statements, can you determine the time of the big noise? Solve it! Boom! One hour before the last shift started. Bernie, Pop, Alan, Agent. I get the shortest shift, three hours. Only Bernie put in the full eight hours. Worked from six till I was relieved. Okay, shift three hours. I'm going to full eight hours. Okay, I need to look at what services for lunch by midnight to midnight. Okay, that's all that's important there. Midnight to midnight. Oh, that's my answer. Okay. Boom, one hour before the last shift started. Full eight hours. Not eight out midnight to midnight isn't eight hours. Six till I was relieved. One hour before the last shift started. Okay, so they all work different times. Bernie did eight hours. He did three. He 
did started at six. We only have to do an hour. That's the night though. Oh come on. Uh Okay, so it starts at twelve. Before the last shift started. How long are the shifts? Shorter shift is three hours. Longest shift is eight hours. How do I six till you're done? You did eight hours, so you did less than eight hours. If you did six hours, that would make sense. Six, three, eight. How much do you work? No one knows. We'll say six. Before the last shift started. So five? Sure. Done. Nailed it. Watch this. And the puzzle came. Boom. <laughs> Dang it! Well, yeah, I know it could have only occurred at one time. Come back even... to this one. It's a tough <laughs> nut. How is it a tough nut? Oh. Okay, what happens if I click the light switch? I need to fix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sheriff Bob, what can I? What happened? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. The accident Oops. was pretty bad. Well, yeah. Oh, is there, uh, is there a body? <laughs> no. Nope. He's just gone. What? Isaac Davner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. Who did that to the factory? When did the accident... Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Myself. Here's what I know. Mitt from... Watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. Okay. Twelve. Oh. Midnight to midnight, so it's a full day. Not just a half a day. Why did I think that? No. Yeah. So it's midnight. Yeah, midnight. To okay, no, I was right. You worked six hours. Oh no, you worked from six till you were done, whatever the hell that means. Eight hours apparently this is a shift. Last shift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so somebody worked eight. One, two, three. How many was it two or one? Who was working? <laughs> There's only twelve hours in the shift. And you worked eight hours, you creepy looking man. Well, you're two of you working at once? Two at once? Do people work, do watchmen work in pairs? I don't know. <laughs> but only Bernie put in the full eight hours. Six. How would he work eight hours if he worked from six? Oh, six. It must be two. I have no idea. Hint. If he started at six, but did he start at six a.m. or six p.m.? I think I'm not thinking of this in the right way, and I'm confusing myself. I am. 12 o'clock midnight to 12 o'clock at lunch to 12 o'clock midnight. So it's 24 hours. Why did I think it was 12? Okay. <laughs> this is like quite similar to math. Uh, 24 hours, so eight hours plus three hours okay that's half the shifts between Bernie and pop man I'm gonna get another hint 
is hurting my head. Pop work the last shift, ending at midnight. Ending at midnight. Okay, so three hours back. And then one more. 11, 10, 9 is when his shift started, so it started at 8. Right? Submit! Done. Boom. Did it. Nailed it. Ready? Boom. What? Oh, don't look at. Oh, no hands. Wow. That's great. Passable. Ha. Ha. If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Good point. <laughs> Maybe they grew back. Goodbye. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moosier Diner later? The Moosier Diner. Files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really think. Ethan Tether, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. We get the Moosier in a bit. Oh, oh, okay. Bye. -bye. Why? You drive your snowmobile weird, man. Hmm. <laughs> all right, that's all that I have for today. Um, I'll see if I can't play this a little bit more uh, and get some more videos up for you guys later.